some of you might have noticed this in previous videos, others might not, but I had a big scratch in the trunk. Now this occurred when I was prepping the body. I sanded it all smooth, applied a couple of coats of primer, and then sanded the primer back down uh, to make it a lot smoother for the color to go on. And somehow, I don't even remember how I did it, I nicked the trunk. There was a pretty big scratch that I sanded back down with the primer. It looked all nice and smooth. I applied the color and the clear, thinking that it would disappear or just fade away a bit, but it did not. I tried polishing it out, but since it's underneath the clear coat, it was still visible. Now, since this is a commission build, I owe the customer my best work possible, so I decided to fix it. Now, since the scratch is only on the trunk, I'm not going to be painting the rest of the body, so I'm just going to mask around it and attack that small area that needs fixing and leave the rest to what it is. The scratch is underneath the clear coat, but the clear is smooth on top of it, so I'm just going to use a 3000 grit sanding sponge from Tamiya to scuff it up and have some bite for the paint to go onto it, but not want to go too rough, as when you're going too rough and I'm not using any fillers or primers, those scratches will not be filled up. So as smooth as possible, but still a bit of a bite for the color to go on. So as you can see, the entire trunk is now nice, smooth and sanded. No more shiny spots, but you can still see the scratch. So I took out the paint again, poured a small amount in the airbrush and attacked that small tiny area, just the affected area and a little bit around it, sprayed it from a couple of different angles to fill it up completely and then moved on to applying some clear. With the scratch now nicely blended in and nothing left to be seen, I let it dry for about 20 minutes, mixed up some 2K Diamond Clear and applied a very thin first coat just to blend it out a bit and grab onto the color coat and blend that into the rest of the already clear coated trunk. After about 5 minutes of dry time, I moved on to applying the second and final coat. So the first pass was still a bit lighter, there was still a lot of orange peel left, so I went over it again to finish it nice and smooth to a diamond glossy finish. There were a couple of tiny specks of dust that fell into the clear coat, but those will all be fixed with a small amount of polishing later on. After about 5 minutes of dry time again, I carefully started removing all the masking tape. Now I'm doing it this quickly, but being very careful not to touch the freshly painted areas, as the quicker you remove the masking tape, the paint is still wet and can still settle down a bit. And as I'm masking it off around some of the panel lines, it will fall nicely into those panel lines and the fix will pretty much disappear and you will never see that it has ever had some damage there. Just to go over it again from start to finish, this is the scratch after I tried polishing it out, which didn't work. So I masked everything off, sanded it smooth with some 3000 grit sandpaper, did a small blend on that scratch with the rest of the trunk panel, and clear coated it to never be seen again. It perfectly matches, the clear is nice and shiny, and it doesn't even look like there ever was anything wrong with it. <laughs> 